Hi everyone and welcome back to this new video. We would like to talk about the uh, transient response of first order circuits. Uh, this is the first example one and we start with the RC circuit. What do we have? We have two independent voltage sources VA and VB. We have a resistor R and we have a capacitor C. The values are given here in blue on the right side. What we have is we have a switching. So the switch opens at the time zero. And we would like to know what kind of effect it has on the capacitor voltage we see. It's going here in red. So we have a couple of questions. The first question for uh, question A is determine the VC. So actually the uh, formula for VC. What's actually the formula for VC? So uh, what is this time dependency? The second question uh, B is calculate the capacitor voltage at, at a particular time. This is 30 milliseconds. And finally, C is calculate when the capacitor voltage will be 5 volts. So that's actually, uh, you're, we're requiring here the time. It's actually the reverse question of B. Okay, so what's actually first order circuit? And how do you go to the transient response of the first order circuit? Now, in general, uh, the first order circuits, first order circuit or first order systems in general, can be written the formula for that it can be written just for first order system response it can be written like this why just something can be current can be voltage can be force you name it why the value of y is equal to is steady state value plus is initial value minus the steady state value again between the parentheses times e to the power t divided by tau. So what do we see here actually? Now let's make it uh, clear. Y infinity means the steady state value. And what is actually the steady state value? So you wait a while and you see no changes in your circuit. So after the switching, a lot of things happening in the circuit and after a while, things are not moving, actually there is no uh, dynamics in the circuit anymore. So that's actually then you reach a steady state value for your circuit or for your uh, specific value. That's actually the steady state value what we are looking for. This is actually the steady state voltage for the capacitor. So we have also this initial value. So what is actually the starting value of your component, for example, the starting uh, current or the starting voltage. In this case, the, what is the initial voltage of the capacitor? That's actually very, that's also interesting for this, uh, for this formula. So we need actually three parameters. Y infinity, that is the steady state value. Y at zero, that is actually the initial value and the tau. Okay, what is tau? Tau is the time constant that's specific for the circuit. And you can calculate this after the switching. So you need to make this change and then you look at your circuit and you determine the time constant. And the time constant has a unit uh, seconds and we would like to know what happens after the switching. So the determining of the time constant will be clear when we go more detail in the circuit. So I will go step by step to these parameters and determine the uh, formula for specifically the capacitor voltage. So in our case, for question A, we have actually the capacitor voltage is equal to the capacitor steady state voltage plus the initial voltage of the capacitor minus the steady state voltage of the capacitor times e to the power t divided by tau. Okay. Now let's uh, look at it carefully. Before switching, that's actually really important because that's actually time at zero is before switching. What we have is the VB is connected actually across the capacitor C. So VB is two volts. That means actually you have two volts here across the capacitor. That doesn't mean what kind of, that doesn't matter what kind of uh, voltage you have here or what kind of component you have here. The voltage across the capacitor will be determined by VB. Okay, that means the, I will write it down in blue, 
next so the initial value of the capacitor will be 2 volts okay now the uh, second the next uh, unknown steady state value of the capacitor now steady state value of the capacitor is when the switch opens and you wait a while and what kind of voltage you have across the capacitor now if you wait a while after the switching so switched opens then you have actually this circuit on the left so this completely disappears at some point there there will be no current flowing through the capacitor so there's also no current flowing through the resistor so actually what you're measuring or what you have is the voltage VA across C that means at infinity or the steady state value of the capacitor will be 8 volts so the value of R will not influence that okay the next one and the final is the time constant now the time constant is actually a uh, very simple uh, to determine what you need to know is you turn off all independent sources after switching off of course so this is still out of the picture so this will be a short circuit and you look actually between the terminals of your capacitor and what you see is the resistor value that resistor value times the capacitor value will be your time constant so i will write it down here in more detail so tau is actually the Tiffany resistance seen by the capacitor times its value. So this, I will move it a little bit up. So this one is the resistance resistance seen by the capacitor C. Now, if you look carefully, if this is a short circuit, VA, and you look between the terminals of C, then you actually see only R. This is actually a very simple question. So what we get is the R TFNN, R TFNN, this one, will be R. So in this case, this is a very uh, simple, that's actually R. And that is actually 10 to the power 4 of 10 kilo ohms. So then what we have is that tau is equal to R times C or 10 to the power 4 times 2 times 10 to the power minus 6. And that will be 0.02 seconds or in milliseconds if you want to write like that, 20 milliseconds. That is actually... These are the three parameters we would like to know before you can write actually down your formula or also for this one. So we are actually done for question A. Only need to know is uh, fill it in. So let's, let's do that. So V capacitor voltage as a function of time is 8 plus 2 minus 8 times e to the power minus t divided by 0 0.02 so if you if you simplify this or write down in a more clear form then you have 8 minus 6 times e to the power minus 50 t and this is actually also in volts so that is actually the same and this holds for t equals for uh, t for greater than zero. Okay, that's actually for, uh, for question A. Now, if you go now for question B, what was question B? We would like to know what is the capacitor voltage at time 30 milliseconds. Now, if you write it down mathematically, that's actually V between the parentheses 0.03 seconds now if you calculate that out that out then you get 8 minus 6 times e to the power 
minus 50 times 0 0.03 and that will be approximately 6.66 volts okay that's actually question B now let's do the question C here right I can make it a little bit up to save some space okay so what we have is actually we need this at a particular time it will be 5 volts so actually we need to solve the equation so what we have already from uh, question A is 8 minus 6 e to the power minus 50 t is equal to 5 then we have minus 6 times e to the power 50 t is equal to minus 3 okay then you get e to the power fifth minus 50 t is equal to half and then you use your uh, formula for going to, from the e to the power to the, to the log so that means minus 50 t is equal to ln of a half and t will be then ln of half divided by minus 50 and it will be approximately 30.86 milliseconds and that is actually question C okay so we have actually done A, B and C so the questions are all uh, answered we would like to draw this to make to get a better insight so let's do that so if you were if you draw it down and make a graph of the situation so that will be the time axis and i will give it in milliseconds and it will be the voltage and that is in volts and i will write that i will draw it in blue so what we have is we have uh, some initial value so the voltage across the uh, capacitor is after switching will grow and will level off at 8 volts that's actually what we have here so this value is 8 that's actually the steady state value so this is what we all talking about our steady state value this is the initial value so and this curve is characteristics for a first order system or first order circuit and if you go down here this will be the zero seconds and if you want to know okay what is the six point sixty six that's actually this one and if you go to the right then you have approximately this and that will be your time 30 milliseconds and if you want to draw also the value for question c that's actually 5 volts and it will be approximately at 14 milliseconds that will be say at, at this and i will point it like this and this is actually for red and this will that will be 14. So you have now in more detail, also in picture and a graphical view, what actually the values for the uh, voltage will be. For the capacitor voltage, you start with 2 volts and you grow to 8 volts, and it will be like this. It's not a linear uh, function, you see. It, you start very fast, but you'll level off and then you grow very slowly after a couple of uh, um, milliseconds. So what you actually have in uh, as a rule of thumb is after five tau so after five time constants you reach at approximately 99.3 percent of your uh, steady state value of eight so that's actually what the engineers use after five tau you reach your steady state value all right that was actually for this uh, example about the first order uh, re system response of a specifically the RC circuit. This is our ex first example. We will continue with the second example and the third example uh, about another circuit or also about RC and RL and a combination of uh, dependent sources that will be also uploaded on this channel. So keep in touch. 
subscribe uh, to the channel and give the thumbs up and share this video and i will see you next time good luck